Well, welcome back, everyone. The airline terror plot scheduled to go down today was prevented by surveillance and spying. My next guest says that many in the liberal media just don't get how important these top secret programs are. He's a sergeant in the U.S. Army Reserves, and after the New York Times out of the program that tracks terror funds, he fired off a letter to the newspaper, reading in part, thank you for continually contributing to the deaths of my fellow soldiers. The New York Times did not print the letter and would not return our calls for comment. With us now is Sergeant Timothy Boggs, who is serving in Iraq, but currently on leave in England. Sergeant, what made you write that? Well, Neil, uh, a lot of things made me write that. And the main point, I think, was that I was finally fed up. You know, they've been printing stories. They started with, uh, you know, how we track the cell phone calls. Then they went on to how we track finances. You know, and I thought to myself, you know, enough's enough. You know, they're continually, they embolden the enemy. They show them how we operate. You know, they show them how, how we go about doing things. You know, and, and these things are directly hurting the soldiers in the field because, you know, whatever helps the terrorists hurts the soldiers. Sergeant, uh, did you uh, bounce this off any of your superiors or did you just do this on your own? Well, <laughs> thanks for outing me now. No, <laughs> I, I did it on my own. <laughs> All right, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. But let me ask you, no, um, no reaction from the New York Times, right? N none. All right. Now, to be fair, Sergeant, you know, the New York Times, I'm sure, gets tons of letters. They don't have to print everything they get. Um, so maybe it was not a deliberate omission. What do you think of that? Uh, I, I might buy what you're having to say if it wasn't for Hugh Hewitt mentioning my letter in particular to the editors and talking about me, and then they came back and they responded, and they mentioned my name particularly. So they, if, if they hadn't read my letter, they obviously knew about it, and they chose not to respond to it. Okay, so you talked to some of your fellow soldiers, and they shared your view that this was putting their lives, other soldiers' lives, in danger by exposing this terror funding uh, program, right? I exactly, because, uh, you know, terrorists have to attack us somehow. And, you know, whether they're being backed by Iran or by Syria or any, any other of the countries, you know, the, one of the main things they have to do is they have to have finances in order to attack us. They need to buy equipment to attack us. They need to, you know, they, they need to live. They need to support themselves. So obviously this money's coming from somewhere, and, you know, they need money to continue on with what they're doing. So, you know, we all felt like, look, you know, if they don't have the money to do this, if they didn't know about the SWIFT program, maybe it would be harder for them to attack us. You know, and when we go out on the road and we get attacked, then, you know, it's kind of a hard pill to swallow. Sergeant, this is just you personally. I'm not asking about the views of, of, of fellow soldiers. Just you personally. Do you think you get a fair rap in the media? Uh, I, I don't think we do. I think we get respect uh, from the media. You know, everyone wants to say, you know, thank you for fighting. Thank you for sacrificing your time. But then at the same time, you know, they don't support what we do. You know, they're not supporting us, you know, what we go in and do day in and day out. They support that we're over there and that we're away from our families. We're away from home. We don't, you know, get to go play baseball. We have to sit in the heat. You know, that's what they support. They don't support, you know, what we're actually doing. So, you know, I don't think we really do get a fair rap from, from most of the media. Obviously, there's good reporters like yourself, Sean Hannity, uh, Steve Harrigan, and, of course, Ollie North, I think, are great reporters. Sergeant, uh, be well, be safe. Thank you very much. Hope we didn't get you in any trouble. Sergeant Timothy. No, Bell. no. All right.